uh, CEO and president of the um, Professional Football Hall of Fame sent a letter to the commissioners and through uh, the county administrator and to the Stark County Convention and Business Bureau requesting uh, a um, determination that the Hall of Fame uh, Village Project participate in the lodging and bed tax at the rate of $500,000 a year over 30 years, which would be $15 million. So my question is, is this a done deal or is there going to be some kind of in the public eye consideration of the request? Well, first of all, Martin, it, it, is no, it is not a done deal. We're doing our due diligence. We're doing reviewing and looking at the proposal. Uh, you, of course, you have to have a, all kinds of legal counsel look at it, too, just to make sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. So this thing's got a, a ways to go. But, it, it, you know, we're all about transparency. So we're, we're you know, the public will be fully informed as we move through the process. Yeah, we've had no four sessions um, to this point, and I concur with the president. I mean, it's... It's something that the legal especially will have to weigh in on, and I have really no opinion about the, the asked until I know the facts. Commissioner Smith? Correct. I mean, until legal gets done with it, um, let them review it and, and, and make sure that what we can or can't do and advise us, and then we go accordingly. Then we start hashing it out at that point. Is there going to be... Said, it's Ohio Revised Code first, and then is, if they can do it, and then do we want to do it? So we haven't got to the letter we fund because we haven't got to the we do it. We don't even know if we can do it. Is there going to be a public opportunity to have some input on, as I understand it, basically the decision of the Stark County Commissioners, is that correct? Well, it starts with the Convention and Visitors Bureau because under the 10-year agreement that the board entered into with the CBB, all of the bed tax goes to the CBB. Uh, so any diversion from that, whether allowed by the statute or not allowed by the statute, um, is going to start with the Convention Business Bureau, who by contract gets all of the statutory fees. Uh, so uh, they are really are the first uh, line of folks vetting the request. You'll notice it was a joint request. Uh, but any deviation from that must then eventually come in front of this board. But the first step in the process is the Commission Visitors Bureau. So um, until their process has fully been completed and, 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 uh, and done, uh, it doesn't come to this board. So to the extent that it wouldn't get through that process, it never would come here. But it's got to go through there first. Is there an estimated timetable for... Just, uh, There's no time frame that I'm aware of. It's it's whenever the research is done, whenever the answers are arrived at, whenever all of the due diligence and vetting has been done. So uh, something like this is not something that would be rushed in any way. 